hey what's up hello y'all it's your girl evolving goddess welcome to my channel what's up virgos if you're new for the first time welcome 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 i'm gonna ask you to go ahead and stay and rock with your girl okay um if you have been rocking with me though you already know how i feel about y'all i love you guys thank you so much um i did give you guys a special thank you um uh, special thank you uh video <laughs> A special thank you video because I love you guys so much. You guys, go ahead and leave comments, all right? Go to that video, though. Go ahead and leave comments on what you think we can do to give, like, birthday shout-outs. I don't know why I said that. Oh, I know why. Because I'm a Pisces, and we're Pisces season. This is a Virgo video. I'm sorry. But anyways, for the comments, guys, go ahead and leave your comments on what kind of giveaways we can do so that we can get more interaction. I'm trying to get to know y'all. <laughs> All right, so nonetheless, guys, this is your love reading, okay, Virgos? Um, February 23rd to March 2nd, what do y'all need to know about your love life? What messages do you guys need to hear at this time? So you guys do know that I shuffle off camera, right? So all this is just extra so that you guys can see it on camera and so I can talk to y'all, right? I miss y'all. I'm just talking <laughs> to the camera all day. So yes, you guys, please interact with me, okay? Leave your comments below so we can chop it up, all right? So Virgos, what do y'all need to know about your love life? As I was pre-shuffling, guys, um, actually, you know what? We're going to cut the deck and we're going to get started. But as I was pre-shuffling on the tarot, right, I did see um, the temperance card. So patience and healing. Um, also the star card. So that talks about making a wish. It also talks about keeping your faith, right? Um, so the five of pentacles. So, you know, that kind of goes hand in hand with keeping the faith. But, you know, some of you guys might be financially... Uh, this is a love reading, but some of you guys might be going through it financially or just kind of going through it with your relationship, and it's a, a time for healing. But the star card is like, you know, great things, right? It's going to be great. So let's go ahead and get it rocking, guys. Right now at the bottom of the deck, we do have codependency, but we're going to take jumpers, all right, Virgo? So what do you guys need to know about your love life, all right? <laughs> all right, Spirit, can I please have three cards for our Virgos? Okay, all right, I feel like there's no one to jump in. And um, we do have three cards, but I am going to go ahead and one more time, one more time, just in case anything else needs to come out, okay? There we go. All right, guys, that's it. That's all, that's it. All right, so bottom of the deck, guys, we do have attraction. So you attract romance. <laughs> You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. All right, guys. So that is like one of those, you know, turn your pain into power type things, right? Um, accepting things for what they are and always learning something, even when things look messy. What is the blessing in this lesson, okay? So the card that's flipped over first is deception, all right? So someone is wearing a false self-mask in this relationship that can speak to actual deception, right? We do have three part, three people in that situation or in that picture, um, it could also speak to somebody that's really not expressing their feelings, okay? Um, we do also have soulmate, though. All right, yes, this is your soulmate. And express your love, okay? So, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So, if you're in a relationship and you're not expressing your love, you could be wearing a, a, a self, a false self. <laughs> I don't know why that always trips me up, but it does. All right? Now, for others of you guys, if you guys are in a relationship where there is some kind of deception, maybe somebody is not expressing their love to you, you know that you deserve love, okay? So, what's your next move? What does that look like, all right? Um, bottom of the deck right now, we do have the nine of wands, but we are going to shuffle, okay? So, I do feel like some of you guys, you know, and this could be even for some of you guys that are together going through difficult times. I mean, that could still be your soulmate, okay? Doesn't mean that it can't be, Um we do have the Eight of Swords, that kind of, the Eight of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. So this is beautiful, guys. Um, and look, Eight of Ace of Cups. So I'm gonna speak to this really quick because it's it's really important, right? You deserve love. This is my self love cup, okay? This could also be some of you guys have started a new cycle. Some of you guys are leaving something from the past. Some of you guys need to, you know, go ahead and leave um, whatever you're feeling like you're trapped in, okay? Because we did have the codependency at the bottom of the deck before. So maybe you're feeling like you're trapped for all the wrong reasons. And this is you kind of, you know, removing the mask, right? Removing the mask and walking forward because you have a new beginning. Either something was faded in this relationship, okay? So whenever something is faded, it speaks to what was the lesson, right? What did you learn from this experience? Move forward. Or some of you guys are going to get a brand new opportunity at love, whether that is in this same relationship or this is in a new relationship or it could even be self-love. 
take it how it resonates guys but if you guys are you know kind of coming back together because you started a new cycle please express your love okay express your love and for my singles that you know if you're getting out of something that was you know kind of heavy a heavy hitter to your heart know that you deserve love express your love to yourself okay express your love to yourself right become one with your own soul before you start looking for another relationship so um three of pentacles this talks about creating something it can also speak to third party with the deception here and you deserve love so you guys don't ignore something if you know that's your story okay um i, I don't like speaking to third parties but if it's on the board guys i have to okay um queen of wands though so this is somebody who is very sexy i love my queen of wands she, she is very sexy right she's focused she's determined she is a, nur a, a nurturer right she's a nurturer okay she's very passionate she has a clear vision okay she is stepping in, into her power right she's she's totally into her power she knows what she wants she is a go-getter so this is probably you all right or maybe somebody you are in a relationship with or something like that but you guys wishes are coming true okay so this you stepping in your power is going to move you forward okay it's going to move you forward to whatever it is that future looks like for you now some of you guys um so there's a reason to celebrate first of all right celebration um reuniting with people this could also mean kind of peace of mind though right because this is my mind body and soul three of cups right mind body and soul right self-love mind body and soul it could also mean some of you guys are coming back together right some of you guys are coming back together a relationship coming back together it was what you wished for it was what you wanted okay you standing in your power maybe brought somebody together or you have a wish to kind of reunite with somebody like this someone who's very sexy someone who has a lot of passion someone who is very driven right she has a clear vision okay so that's what we have for that little rundown and we'll go ahead and get started and flip some cards <laughs> All right, so Knight of Swords, guys, this is um, either communication, okay, communication that's coming in really fast, right, um, or this is things kind of being a little bit hectic right now, okay, so with the Knight of Swords, sometimes he reacts before he thinks, so there may be a need for you to kind of have a clear vision so that you know when you're moving forward that your mind, body, and soul is right and you're making the best decision going forward, okay? Yeah, so the Knight of Swords, though, um, you could be you could be in a relationship with somebody with this Knight of Swords, right? This is an individual, um, an air sign possibly, or somebody who is just kind of very, you know, straight to the point. And sometimes you can't really communicate with this individual because they, um, you know, they, they're very confident and they know the answers, right? Or they think they know the answers. Take it how it resonates. But this could definitely be somebody that you're in a relationship with as well. So let's see where this is going. All right, Eight of Swords is back out on the deck, okay? So, you guys, you might be scared, right? You're definitely maybe scared. You're kind of scared to move forward. All right, now, the Eight of Swords, this is you putting yourself there, though, guys. This is definitely you putting yourself there. Um, it's about a matter of kind of really seeing things for what they are. There's definitely, I feel like there's definitely a need to have some kind of communication, right? So, somebody may not... Thank you. So somebody may not be expressing their feelings, okay? Somebody you somebody may not be expressing their feelings, whether that's you or the other party. Um, the the energies can be reversed, but I feel like somebody is wearing a mask because they're not they're not expressing their feelings, and it has somebody kind of feeling like stuck and confused, right? Not really knowing how to proceed and not really knowing how to move forward, okay? All right. So for my people that are like that. Know that you guys deserve love, okay? That's the first thing. You guys always deserve love, okay? So, um, this is definitely about planning, right? Planning what your future is going to look like. What does that look like for you? You standing in your power, okay? She has the lion here, so that speaks to strength, right? So, you might be going, some, you might be going through something right now, um, and it may be taking a lot of strength for you to overcome this obstacle, all right? Yeah, so let's let's keep it going, oh guys, okay? Beautiful. Ace of Cups. So you guys want love, all right? You guys, your vision, your overall vision is love. You know you deserve love, okay? 
um, and you definitely may be feeling like this individual is not bringing love to you and you're kind of feeling stuck, right? Like, I don't know if I should go. I don't know if I should stay, but I feel like there definitely may be a lack of love. All right. Now, for my individuals that are in a relationship, guys, the focus needs to be love. OK, the focus definitely needs to be love. You guys need to be expressing your love to one another. Um, if this is a true soulmate connection, like you feel it in your soul, guys, go ahead and express it. Right. You don't have nothing to lose. You don't have nothing to lose because you have everything to gain. OK, I know that was kind of cheesy, but it's so true. Right. You, you know, we are humans. We want to be loved and we deserve love. So make sure you're expressing that. All right, somebody's not expressing that love, though. Like, I feel like there's passion, but there's no communication, and that's the reason why somebody's maybe stuck. Okay. All right, so let's get more cards. All right, so Eight of Cups, guys. Somebody is walking away, okay? Somebody's walking away. Somebody's stepping into their power. Somebody's kind of... Um, not okay with the lack of communication or somebody's not okay with the way that the communication is in the relationship. Somebody's kind of scared or somebody's tired of being stuck and confused and not really knowing how to proceed forward. Somebody is walking towards their ninth cup, right? So we earlier saw the nine of cup, which is your wishes coming true, your happiness. Um, there's one cup here on this path and that always speaks to self-love to me. And then we have the ace of cup here. So some of you guys are really stepping into your power and you're walking towards your self-love. Okay. Absolutely. Guys, you guys are walking away from people, places, or things that do not resonate. Even thoughts, right? Because we have these swords here on the board. So this is even thoughts, right? Negative thinking, maybe walking away from that. Absolutely. Right. Stepping into your power and focusing on the positive, right? Focusing on love. Because you know that's the only thing that exists. That's the only thing that's real, right? Expressing your love, absolutely. So yeah, you guys are definitely walking away. Maybe there was some kind of deception, right? You received some kind of communication um, and you're walking away from the relationship because of that. But yeah, you guys have new love on the mind and you are walking towards that. It's like you are walking towards your happiness, absolutely. You're walking towards your happiness, guys. Ten of Cups, this is beautiful. So you guys really might be confused thinking like, you know what, I want to stay. You guys really may be torn. I want to stay. I want to go. And you don't know how to proceed. All that you know is that ahead of you is your happiness, right? So maybe in the past, things were not kind of working out for you. Definitely in the past, things weren't working out for you. But you had this like burning desire, right, for more love or for some type of creativity. Now, this is a love reading, guys, but I really feel like, this is you. And I know Virgos, th this lady has come up in like almost all of your readings. I do remember that. So this is somebody who knows how to nurture herself, okay? Or bring, um, or nurture the relationship. So this is maybe even you stepping into your power to kind of bring the relationship from bad to good times, right? To bring a brand new love. But this is emotions and thoughts in the board. You guys are in your head about a relationship, or you guys are in your head about about wondering how to get to that happiness right you guys are definitely because you guys don't want to let it go because you feel like this is a soulmate but somebody isn't expressing their feelings somebody isn't expressing their feelings and it's making you guys feel like you know kind of like left out in the cold a little bit it's like you know she is out in the cold by herself right it's like you're, you're kind of feeling left out in the cold but you're wanting um this this ten of cups now at the end it does look like you're getting it though so keep on Keep on going, guys. Yeah, you guys are getting it. Knight of Cups, right? Or sorry, Knight of Pentacles. So this is somebody who is putting in the work, right? All work and no play. So you guys, if this is you and you are just work, 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 and not putting in any type of emotion into your relationship, please express your love, right? So because this person has a really, uh, they're very creative and they have a, they have a passion for success, okay? So you could be focusing so much on your success and that you're forgetting to put, um, you know, express your emotions in the relationship. Now, for my others of you guys, I, that didn't really make sense. <laughs> but for others of you, you guys are, um, there's a need for you, for one, to pay attention to the details, right? And enjoy the journey. Absolutely, guys. Because the Knight of Pentacles, like, yes, he is the slowest moving knight. 
right? But when he comes, he comes solid. He comes practical. He comes bearing gifts. He comes with growth. He comes with stability, okay? So this may be you guys kind of going through this process. And at the end of it, though, you get an, you get unconditional love like you've never experienced before. So, yes, you maybe had to go through something in order to get it, but it's here. So you guys definitely are getting new love at the end, whether that's be a self-love or a renewed love, a new, a new relationship. Um, but I feel like this is you guys going through a journey, right? Yeah, because we had the 10, the, the Wheel of Fortune came out. So absolutely, guys, this was definitely some kind of cycle that completed or you guys are walking into a new cycle because of past experiences. There was something that needed to be learned, whether it be in this relationship or even something with you. But um, you guys are getting it. You guys are getting your, you're getting your cup. You're getting your cup. You're getting your new beginnings, right? You're getting good fortune and it has potential to grow, right? Everything grows with water okay so you plant some of this or you you know pour some of this water onto this seam and it's gonna grow it's gonna blossom all right but there is a matter of or you guys have to be able to express your feelings right the ace of cups is an overflow right so this is i love myself so much that i have so much love to give right and with that you guys can blossom you see how that cup is coming out of that flower okay so you guys make sure you're expressing your love um for you guys in a relationship you know this is a new relationship. There may have been something in the past where you had lack of communication with somebody um, and you left that. You left that behind because you knew what you deserved. You knew what you wanted. Um, you weren't getting it there. And because of that, you're being rewarded with a brand new opportunity. And this could even be for my people that are in relationships. Take it how it resonates, guys. We're at 16 minutes. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Um, but you guys know I love you guys and you deserve love. So thank you for rocking with your girl. Like and subscribe before you leave. Y'all know what to do. Talk to your girl. I'll talk back to y'all. Peace.